Moving around the world this morning, we're talking about violence on one of the holiest days of the year. Nearly 300 people are dead after multiple bombings in Sri Lanka this Easter. John Lawrence reports. Terror in Sri Lanka with coordinated bombings in churches and high-end hotels. I strongly condemn these attacks that targeted religious sites and luxury hotels. All of us must uphold the law of the land. The minority Christian community in Sri Lanka appears to be the main target of the attacks. I entrust to the Lord all who so tragically died, and I pray for the wounded and all those who suffer because of this traumatic event. Prior to the Easter Sunday violence, a warning was issued. A memo dated April 11th, signed by Sri Lanka's Deputy Inspector General of Police, warning intelligence officers about a possible attack. It's a regrettably not unfamiliar story in the aftermath of terrorist incidents where there has been pieces of information and pieces of intelligence that haven't necessarily been stitched together the way that they needed to be. A police source tells CNN the memo included a request for more security. I'm confident there will be a substantial investigation into to what's happened there and what's gone wrong. This attack ends a decade of relative peace for the country after its 25-year civil war ended in 2009. President Trump offering condolences in a tweet saying, we stand ready to help. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Of the more than 200 killed Sunday, at least two dozen were foreigners. They include five Britons, two of whom had dual citizenship with the UK and the United States.